How's it going, y'all? Rowdy Riles back with another video, and we are coming at you with some more Jada toys. We all know that Street Fighter line is fire, so of course, when my Ken came up uh, to go in my pile of loot, I was like, Yeah, Big Bad Toy Store, give me that bad boy. So, of course, we have Ken from Jada Toys Ultimate Street Fighter 2 line. Uh, I did see some prototypes for Cami. And I know Dalsim and M. Bison are dropping Blanca prototypes. I'm super excited for this line. There's so many cool characters coming. Ken is one of them. So yeah, with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box and we'll get this bad boy open. As you can see, we have the box here. We've got that health gauge up at the top. We've got the arcade stick down there and Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. Ken with some pixelized artwork from the game. Warning, small parts, don't stick them in your mouth. On this side, Ultra Street Fighter 2 with some awesome artwork of the figures in that anime style. On the back, once again, Ultra Street Fighter 2. Some artwork of the figure. He's got his full health bar in his name. And then we've got all the other characters on the roster down there. Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. More artwork. Ken, Country of Origin, USA. Fighting style, martial arts rooted in Aksuken? Aksuken, that's how you say it. But with all of that being said, let's get this bad boy open. I believe the classiest way to do this is to take that tape down from the bottom and then we should be able to just pull the figure right on out of the cardboard without hurting anything. My prediction was correct. Um, there is Ken out of the cardboard. As you can see, we have our Jada Toys Ken out of the box, and he is mostly reused from Ryu as far as the body goes, but we do get different colors and a new head sculpt, so we have that gi with a removable belt in that rubbery uh, softer plastic and a uh, nice wash on there uh, brown gloves instead of uh, red black belt red gi and of course he's got the long blonde mullet and a nice paint uh, wash on his musculature there so it looks like he's got some definition as opposed to just being one color uh, Jada Toys is really knocking it out of the park with this line these are like high-end figures like you in, you could charge like 40 to 50 dollars for this figure and just add a couple more accessories and i would still probably justify picking it up just because they're so good especially for being a domestic toy maker i mean just look at this we have uh ryu we have chun li and now we have ken so we are filling out that roster for street fighter and marvel versus capcom which i am super happy it looks so good our jaded toys ken stands at let's see here let me get the trusty tape measure he stands at 6.2 inches so right in scale with the rest of the jada toys and marvel legends stuff that he be sliding next to so yeah going over the articulation starting at the top of his head of course we get nice movement forward nice movement back side side because there is a separate dumbbell in the neck as well as the head so there's that i also did notice that some of these joints the pegs are a little stiff on him as well so be aware of that uh shoulders come up 90 degrees very nicely we do get butterfly joints which work very well as you can see Bi bicep cut very smooth double elbows uh no wrist cut or anything but we do have up down pegs on the wrist coming to the torso we have a nice um floating ball peg there at the torso as well as at the waist so forward it goes back really far back really far as well legs go forward that far back that far to the side that far we do get a thigh cut which is really smooth very nice double knees which work very well he can kick his own butt very daintily uh no boot cut but we do actually get an ankle cut down there on the rockers as well so yeah basic but very decent very good articulation especially for someone in a brand called street fighter because wouldn't be very good if a street fighter couldn't fight right so you know he can kick he can punch he can get down just a cool figure great articulation let's go over his accessories going over accessories first of all because jada toys loves to give us effects we get this red hadoken which plugs right in here at the base and it also comes with the stand which is articulated as well so you can shoot it from whichever direction you want and at the bottom it just plugs into that stand as well so of course Jada Toys always gives us a really cool effect you can see the hands in there from the Hadoken Blast so that's pretty cool then we get an alternate head sculpt he's already got he's got like a smirking like I'm ready to fight you Ryu face right now but he also comes with this angry 
kind of He-Man looking head because of that blonde mullet, uh, which is really nicely painted. And then we get two open Hadouken hands, which once again, reused from Ryu, but painted brown instead of red on the hand guards. So not a whole lot of accessories, but still enough because he's totally awesome. Just look at him. So first up for scale and comparison, here is Ken with his castmates Ryu and Chun-Li. Like I said, Ryu, heavy reuse for Ken. Uh, also from Jaded Toys, uh, Chun-Li is slightly shorter, which works for me. And yeah, love me some Jaded at this point. They're really, really growing on me. For some more uh, Jaded Toys, here he is with Mega Man in our Universal Monsters Dracula. For some Marvel Legends and uh, Marvel vs. Capcom comparison, here he is with our Renew Your Vows Scarlet Spider and our Retro Card Spider-Man with the Raft Head, which is probably the ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Spider-Man in my opinion, as far as looks go. For some G.I. Joe Classified series, here he is with Retro Duke and Scarlet. For some Power Rangers Lightning Collection, here's a little bit of Turbo Love. Here he is with our SH Figure Arts and our Adventure Series Indiana Jones. Some Black Series with Mandu, Grogu, and Bo-Katan Kreese. Here's Ken with some more SH figures with Ultraman and Harley Quinn. And then lastly, here he is next to our Mothex Harley Quinn. So that should do it for comparison. So with all of that being said, y'all, I will say that the Jada Toys Ken from Ultra Street Fighter 2 is totally worth it because he's totally worth it to me. I mean, look at this guy. He's so cool. Uh, really cool to be filling out the, the roster for Street Fighter 2 because most of them are from Marvel vs. Capcom. You know, Marvel fangirl. I love Marvel vs. Capcom. I love all that stuff. And if you love my video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Pretty please. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed, pretty please. Also comment down below if you're excited to see more from Jada Toys, if you wanna see them do other lines like Mortal Kombat, that would be really sick, or other Capcom lines, whatever, let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out my Patreon, dollar a month, all the videos for new figures like him go up early on the channel. So do that if you want to, all that stuff. I love you, I will see you next time, and bye bye mwah.